In Leviticus 8, the Lord gave Moses detailed instructions to ordain Aaron and his sons as priests. But as you read all of this, it's important to know the symbols of each part of the ceremony. The water is the word of God. It humbles and cleanses us. The garment is God's righteousness which covers us. The oil is the Holy Spirit. It draws us, sets us apart, and gives us the power to become his. The sin offering is Jesus. Yes, the wages of sin is death, but Christ took our punishment if we trust him. The next sacrifice represents the final work of Jesus. He consecrates us for his work. He gives us the ability to live a life of worship and because of his blood, we can now dine and commune with our creator. See, God doesn't waste anything. Everything in this ceremony has a purpose, but I love how the ceremony ends with a meal because in a way the intent and symbolism of these sacrifices are still with us every day if we just open our eyes. Each meal, every time we say grace, we can be reminded that in order for us to have life, something had to give its life. And because Jesus gave his life, we can be restored to our original purpose, to have a relationship with our Heavenly Father. That's what God wanted in Genesis 1, here in Leviticus 8, and it's what he invites us into still in Revelation. Look, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we'll share a meal together as friends.